Hey everyone, so a couple of weeks ago, I was hanging out with one of my friends that has this most adorable two and a half year old. And I wanna tell you a story of what happened. Now, let me preface this though, that you know I may have a background in early childhood and a whole lot of teacher certifications and experience for like 20 something years, but I'm not like a licensed doctor and a pediatrician. So when they ask me questions and advice, it's really based on my teaching experiences and just my um, years of working with little kids and also as a mom of another, a child a little older, they were seeking my, my, my ideas, my opinion. And they were like, we think our daughter is so far advanced. Do you think that's true? I understand that so many parents want their kids to be advanced, but honestly, this little girl's language was like she was three or four years old. I was blown away. So I already knew that because I had been communicating with her and playing with her. But when they asked me that question and I see how she's like kind of walking and I haven't played with her, or done any other activities with her, um, you know, at home and saw how she uses all these other skills. The answer is, it really depends on what domain. Children don't develop in isolation. They develop with these five main domains, physical, intellectual, language, emotional, and social. And then the skill called self-regulation is like executive functioning. It is a huge thing that happens in all of those areas. And that's the, really the skill that takes time to get to know and assess because you have to see it in a lot of different settings, not just in a playtime setting. So I told them, I said, well, in a language uh, domain, she is well above. She's using this kind of vocabulary. She's using these many sentence structures, like, you know, three or four word sentence structures with describing words in the right place. But I said, I really can't tell you a lot of other things. Like, what do you think? And they started to tell me about how she knows how to count and how she knows how to sing. And so in order to really understand how her math and language skills go beyond vocabulary, it would mean needing her to count objects. It would mean playing overnight. So what I'm telling you as a mom, just like them, is you really don't know if your child's far ahead. You really need to look at all of the areas the physical, the intellectual, the language, the emotional, social, because your child might be above way advanced in terms of language and math skills. But can they open up a lunch container? Can they zip up their own jacket? Can they put their shoes on themselves? Those are things that kids really need when they get to kindergarten, not just that they can talk and they can count because those are skills that will come in time, just like anything else. But help get your child to be a well-rounded child by giving them experiences in all of the domains, the physical, the intellectual, the social, the emotion, and the language. Get all of those activities and those ideas to help get them ready and start when they're two and three years old. At kidsmoveandlearn.com, you can find a kindergarten checklist and download it and see if your child is ready for those. What is your child missing? What does your child need to be ready?